Welcome to the HBP training video on the differences between Windows 7 and Windows 10. We'll be covering the differences in the classic start menu and the new start menu combined with Metro apps, the new settings area which is a newer replacement of control panel, the overhaul of the search feature with built-in Cortana, different sign-in options mainly biometrics such as fingerprint scanner and facial recognition. Since Windows 7 there have been some major changes to the start menu from totally revamping it in Windows 8 and 8.1 with changing it to a tiled Metro themed menu, to Windows 10, where the classic Windows 7 start menu and Metro theme from Windows 8 are combined. It's also extremely customizable. You can choose whether to remove the tiled Metro icons altogether, or you can add whichever icons you require, simply by right clicking on an icon and either pin to start or remove from start. Using this feature, you can create group apps, such as your office applications in one area under its own specific group. You have quick access to the power options for your PC, different accounts you can sign into, file explorer, and also a shortcut to the new settings area. Down on the bottom taskbar, where the start button is located, you also have Cortana, a built-in search feature that has been totally overhauled since the previous searching in Windows 7 and 8. Cortana not only gives you the ability to search any documents, applications, or settings on your PC, but it also gives you the ability to search the web directly from your taskbar using either your keyboard or even voice control if you have a microphone. The final new button on the taskbar is the Virtual Desktops button. This is a new feature to Windows 10, which will allow you to run multiple desktop windows at the touch of a button. If you'd like to keep your work and personal items separate, simply click the Virtual button, click the plus button to create a new desktop. You can then swap back and forth instantly using this feature. On to the new settings area now. It's accessed from the Start button and is the small cog icon above your Power button. It's a more user-friendly version of the Control Panel. Some items, for example Windows updates, have permanently moved from control panel over to settings, but the majority of the features here you can still access through both. The settings window lists the different options you can change in a category view. To start with, you have system, which is where you can change options for sound, Windows 10 notifications, display options, and power and sleep settings. New categories, which include phone, make it incredibly easy for you to link your smartphone to your PC to import media, share web pages, and even send text messages. Another one of the settings options is apps, which is where you can uninstall applications, set defaults for your web browsers and email client, and also set defaults for file types. The personalization option is where you can change your background, lock screen, and theme colors, as well as options for the taskbar and start menu. Another new feature to Windows 10 is the notification center. This is the small text box icon in the bottom right of your taskbar, here, notifications for your PC will appear, whether they're new emails coming into Outlook, notifications about disk space alerts, and also notifications from other applications such as web browsers. You can also use the Notification Center as a shortcut tool to the snipping tool to enable or disable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even to enable tablet mode for users with touchscreen devices. If you cannot see some of these options, simply click the Expand button in your Notification Center to view more available options. Several of the quick shortcuts from Windows 7 have been brought over to Windows 10 and even expanded on. For example, right-clicking the Start button will open up a small menu with several quick options to Settings, Task Manager, File Explorer, Search, Run, and even the Shutdown and Restart options for your PC. Another handy shortcut is the one that will allow you to change your password for domain environments, and that is Control, Alt, and Delete. Simply press these keys together on your keyboard, and you'll have the option to change your password as well as sign out, lock, switch user, etc. As long as you abide by your company's password policy, you should have no problem changing the password. Just bear in mind that if your Office 365 password is the same as your computer password, you will need to request an Office 365 sync to be carried out by hardware support. However, this sync does automatically run between 4 and 6 hours. Windows 10 also has several new sign-in options, which massively overhaul the security and lockdown of your device. Lots of new laptops and notebooks come with facial recognition by default, and some even with a fingerprint reader. You have the option in the new Windows 10 settings area to choose which sign-in option you'd prefer to use on your computer. For example, if you had facial recognition, you would just need to boot up your machine, look at the camera for a second or two, and you're all logged in without having to type in your password. With the releases of these new technologies to make users feel more secure and streamline their experience, Encryption is one of the features that is widely used in corporate structures, but not so much for small to medium enterprises or even home use. BitLocker is one of these encryption methods, 
which when fully enabled, encrypts your hard drive so even if it were to be physically removed from your machine, no one would be able to read that data without having your full BitLocker encryption key or the recovery key. This adds a whole other layer of security on top of what is already in place and what has been added with the new sign-in options. BitLocker will prompt for the device's encryption key every time when the machine is turned on, even before the device loads into Windows. It's incredibly easy to set up, simply requires you to turn on BitLocker, select the drive you'd like to protect, and away you go. One of the best of most simple Windows 10 features is Snipping Tool. It's a small program that allows you to drag and drop over an area of your screen to capture that area as a screenshot or an image. You simply need to click Start and type Snipping Tool, or if you have the latest Windows 10 update, 1903, click the Notification Center icon and click Snipping Tool shortcut. Next, just click New and highlight the area you'd like to screenshot. Then you have the option to save, copy, and even direct email the image. This is by far the most simple and easy way to get screenshots. They can even be pasted directly into emails. And that's it for the HPP training video on the differences between Windows 7 and Windows 10. If you have any issues or queries, please contact the hardware support team by calling 01724 400 304 or emailing it at hbp-group.com. .co.uk. Thank you.